Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be riding on a, uh, it's not new or anything, it's just an old forgotten about Supercross called James and Jones's, like Supercross, something like that. It'll be linked down in the description so you guys can go get it there. And, uh, well today, if you guys haven't seen the title or the thumbnail, which is almost impossible, uh, you guys would know I'm riding as Ken Roxon today. I've even got the Fox gear on. I know I got the A-Stars glove on because I didn't have any uh, Fox gloves or boots. So you'll have to uh, excuse me for that. But today we are running as Kenny, Mr. Ken Roxon. Kind of talking about, I guess, the track and the game. And I guess his decision to go to Suzuki. And I guess maybe hit on a few more things. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, you guys are uh, more than free to... Uh, you know, skip throughout the video looking for the parts that you'd like to hear and or uh, subscribe for more. <laughs> uh, just trying to remind everybody that's watching right now that, um, you know, should give you a warning to subscribe. Well, uh, you know, average view duration is through the first two minutes. So just, just a little reminder, but um, you guys don't have to. It's free. Unsubscribe anytime, but uh, don't feel forced to or anything like that. But if you feel like supporting me, it'd be awesome and I'd really appreciate it. But today... Um, yeah, I mean, we have a tough task ahead of us. I do not ride the 450 in this game, like, ever. This may be the fourth time I'm ever on a 450, maybe fifth. Uh, it's one of those two, and, um, yeah, I mean, today we're gonna try to rip it up. Uh, I was trying to ride Arlington Supercross. I can't even tell you how difficult that was. That was, uh, definitely a very, very tough task, and I don't know why it was so bad, but... The Suzuki 450 in this game is probably, right now, my least favorite bike in the whole entire game. Um, I've not even played too much on it, so... Yeah, that kind of says a little bit just from that. But like that, that is so stupid. I don't get traction, for whatever reason. I have the tires on and everything like that, and it is compatible with this dirt type. But I just don't get... I don't get traction, so... For whatever that's about... I'm a little bit curious, but, um, I mean, we're fine without it. We can still, you know, complete the track, get around the track, and, uh, especially with these berms right here, especially if you can go triple. Okay, well, you can actually quad right there on a 450, by the way. Sorry, my nose is very itchy for some reason today, so I gotta keep that, you know, under control, I guess, in the future. Before I start making videos, then I go down, and then I have to scratch it, because it just itches so bad. But, um... Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop over here real quick. Um, this probably won't capture all that well on camera or on video because of like it barely you know even registers in my head. But I mean, look at this thing through the whoops. It is literally unfair. You take the corner in third gear, shift up to fourth right before, stand up, lean backwards, and this is the whoops. And these are actually very well constructed whoops. Um, so I mean, this is the difference between third gear though too. Third gear starts to kind of lose its touch at the end. And then fourth gear once again, just flies through it, no problem. And uh, tried to do the same thing on a 250, doesn't quite work the same. But there probably is an advantage to it, but there's also probably a little bit more disadvantage than advantage. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. We'll go on off right here instead of what it wanted me to do. And then uh, we'll go up over this triple right here, bank into these. Berms are my best friend on this map. I can get over that, actually, and jump over this and maybe triple out, if that's what that is. That could be a fun line right there if I wanted to try that. Still trying to just, like, relearn it. I haven't played this one too much. Just was scrolling down my Supercross list looking for a track to ride and saw this one. I was like, hey, this one would make awesome content. It's kind of like a, a practice track. And speaking of practice track, Ken Roxon looks pretty good on the Suzuki you know, test tracks that they've been riding. Uh, he looks half decent. Not like, um, not like when he first joined Honda or anything like that, where he looked, you know, incredibly fast. But I wouldn't be surprised if Ken Roxon came out in one A1. And if you guys would like to hear more about the, uh, the AMA series from, uh, me and my perspective, it'd still be basically like an MX Bikes video, except just like a little bit differently themed with, uh, just a lot more. They will be coming out very soon. I will do probably two or three episodes before the year starts. Probably only two. And um, I thought that that could be really fun to do. It's called, 
it's one of my series that I'm gonna have on the channel about the AMA series, and I was about to say it's called, but you know, you guys, you guys can wait on that. I think that you guys would be fine with waiting on what it's called. It's not a big deal, anyways. And if you guys have heard about Moto Monday, the series I was thinking about doing with Troy, and uh, we came up with, uh, yeah, he kind of, uh, he didn't kind of bail. We we kind of just bailed on the idea, and uh, I think we'll end up doing our own little shows or whatever you want to call it for uh for the ama season so i mean do with that as you will but i'm sure that you guys will still have plenty of content from uh from troy and us i mean i'm sure that we'll still you know collab uh we haven't done a video since the valhalla one but we've talked a lot since then so um if you guys do not know troy which is very low chance you guys can go check out his channel um just type in T R O Y J A N N N and uh, should show up. And if not, just type in Trojan MX Bikes instead, and uh, you guys should have him pretty easily. And um, yeah, I mean, going back onto the topic about Roxon, like I said, I would not be surprised if he just went out and won A1. Be a very Roxon thing to do, but I just don't see him ending up even top five in the championship with how bad he was riding. It's either he's going to do super good or he's not going to do that well. Like, I think he'll be a top, like, 7 or 8 rider. Or he'll be a top 3 rider. Maybe even 4 with Chase Sexton, El Hombre, and Eli Tomac in the conversation. Uh, maybe Jason Anderson takes a step back or Sexton kind of takes it easy in Supercross. I'm not sure. Um, you guys can hear all of my analysis on this stuff in uh, future episodes. So, like I said, if you would like to know more about that i will be coming out with uh an extra upload i'll upload two times in one day once a week uh one so well so it won't take uh away from mx bikes videos time because you know how much you guys like those recently the videos have been doing really well though too so thank you guys for watching this is probably dreadful gameplay by the way but i'm scared to i'm ex scared i'm uh scared to accelerate here on this bike. This bike, you have no idea how scary it is to accelerate while turning. And uh, I'm not kidding when I tell you that, and that's just how dumb that this game is. But uh, yeah, I literally just don't feel comfortable uh, whatsoever on this freaking bike. It's such a bad, such a bad bike, but I thought it'd be a good video idea. Probably was planning on doing another one, saw this came out in the MX Bikes mods. I'll try to link this down in the description if I remember. If not, it should be at the top of MX Bikes Mods for you guys to go and grab up. And uh, you guys can... It's a, There's a 250 version as well, but I thought if I was going to get the full thing, ride the, the 450, but probably should have just, you know, stuck with the, the 250, considering the circumstances um, of how bad the Suzuki 450 is. But uh, we, we try to work it out. We try. I forgot that these are the, the whoops right here. Third gear works fine in a, in a shorter set like that, but probably would still prefer fourth gear. But uh, yeah, the 250 can absolutely rip it up on this track. I remember I spent like a, a few minutes on it, like maybe 20 minutes, and I was actually able to set down a couple of uh, good laps that I was kind of proud of. And um, yeah, of course, we go down right there. Um, yeah, this bike is kind of atrocious, I, I'll be honest. Alright, like, it's not a fun bike to be dealing with right now. Uh, not what I'm used to at all. And, uh, whatnot, so. Just hop on in here. I guess go over. I wanted to not do that, but... Whatever, I'm gonna try to roll into this right here. Get set up for the whoops. Finally get a good drive through these ones right here. Get through them. That's one thing I really do like about this track is the dang whoops. We'll go on... And then go triple off. That's one of my favorite lines on the track right there. And then go up with this triple. Try to get to the outside to get to that right there to pivot off of. Does, doesn't do a great job anyways, so. Ah, uh, the 450 in this game rocks. I, I prefer the KTM so much more. Um, I really do. It's awful, you know, riding something like this. I know some people don't even see a difference, but trust me, there is a massive difference. But I can maybe gel on the, the Suzuki 250 if you guys would like to see that for a video. It's testing out the Suzuki 250. So if you're watching at this point and would like to see that, make sure to comment below. And uh, I will make sure to try and make that happen. But 
Ken Roxon seems like kind of a hot topic right now, and I thought, you know what, why not? So hopping in here, good idea for the title and thumbnail, but you guys already have those, so um, tell me if they were a good idea or not. What should I fix about that? I'm see this. This is the thing right here. People try to can like give you constructive criticism, but they act like a child and they go about a child. They go like a child about it. When I would only really take it from someone that one sounds mature and two, I, I guess just acts like acts its age and mature about it like that's the only way I take constructive criticism or else I just take it as criticism uh, it's kinda just the the main way to say it so uh, yeah do with that as you will so if you're gonna give me constructive criticism make sure to be adult about it no need to be any like children or anything like that that's just kinda poor you know it's not not what you wanna see especially in a, a comics comment section that have been as positive as mine recently I'm been enjoying everybody watching the videos and everything like that hopefully uh the channel you know at an all-time high right now we're seeing some of the highest numbers i've seen since i mean a long time ago so i'm really appreciative to have this sort of viewing and uh this sort of impact on the mx bikes community and uh yeah maybe we'll see the uh the subscriber numbers kind of going up re or, uh here soon and uh i'm sorry i normally this is not when i normally record it is 11 27 a.m and i normally record at like eight or something like along those lines just around there and 8 a.m you know when i wake up so it's kind of just like weird recording right now so if i'm kind of stumbling mumbling a little bit that's kind of the reason why and um yeah i mean it's just super tough right now to try and focus on the two things right now trying to learn the 450 and talking so, um, I mean, I'm sure if I just put in a few more laps at the 450, maybe gel with it a little bit more, I'd enjoy it a little bit more. But, I mean, this thing right now is just horrible. I'm going to try to get the big line right here, go over, and then get the triple out. Yeah, that is a fun line right there. I wish I was taking that the whole time. And then go third gear through these right here. Definitely could go fourth uh, through there. No need to go super fast right here. This triple super easy. Downside it pretty well. Get up into this roller. Make sure not to go too fast on it. Don't want to slip in that corner right there. At no point to go all the way out to the berm for these next ones. And making sure I don't slide out. And then crossing the finish line right there. I'm sure you guys have plenty of better laps like when you guys ride this track. And uh, I do think that this track is severely underappreciated. And um... Yeah, so of you, like, so of the ones of you... Okay, whatever, I give up. Uh, talking. Talking's just not my thing today. Uh, speaking of underappreciated, you guys are. If you guys are watching right now this deep into the video, I do appreciate it so much. Tell me your favorite dog breed, by the way. Um, and I'll know that you're a real one for watching, you know, this long. Uh, if you don't want to do it, don't do it then. I don't care. But that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. It was a fun, interactive, not that great of a video, I'm going to be honest. It's probably one of the worst ones I've put out, so uh, maybe go ahead, give me another chance, you know, look at uh, any of my futures videos that come up on your recommended or anything like that, uh, maybe if you think it's a better video idea, because this one was, a, it had potential, I kind of butchered it, not a great video, but it's still going to have to do, so um, yeah, I mean, I'll see you guys next time, and make sure to, you know, check out the channel, do the, do the uses, you know, just like the video if you enjoyed it, helps me out a lot personally, and with the algorithm, and also uh, make sure to subscribe for more content like this if you guys are enjoying it i know today's video is probably pretty boring to watch but you guys are gonna have to do with it and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time